Hey, online family. As you know, we're going through some challenging times. There's a lot of uncertainty surrounding this current coronavirus pandemic. Yet in the midst of the chaos and in the midst of the fear and anxiety that many are facing, we know that God is very present. And today I'm excited that we're kicking off a 14-day devotional called Faith Conquers Fear. We'll be looking at God's Word and discovering what He says concerning fear and faith and how you and I can apply those principles in a practical way during this time. So I invite you to please share this video with as many people as possible. Invite them each day to come and join us online. Well, this is day one, and we're looking at how to triumph over trouble. Trouble comes in different sizes. Some are small enough for you to ignore. Others are meager enough for you to manage alone. But what do you do when you are surrounded by an army of trouble? That was the question to which the servant of Elisha in the Bible wanted an answer on the morning. An army of trouble came looking for him and his master. He got up early that morning, as was his custom. He had a good night's rest. The sun was up and the day looked bright. So there was no reason to suspect that this would be anything but a good day. But... He was in for a surprise and not a very pleasant one. When he stepped outside that morning, he noticed something that scared him out of his wits. An entire army of Syrian soldiers equipped with horses and chariots that surrounded him and Elisha. An army of trouble had come looking for them and had found them. Do you know what it's like for an army of trouble to come looking for you? What it feels like to be surrounded by trouble? You know an arm of trouble has located you when trouble shows up everywhere. In your marriage, in your checkbook, in your children, in your ministry, in your workplace, and in a worldwide pandemic. And all these things are happening at the same time. Your spouse is not acting right. And while you're trying to deal with that, you get a call from school that your son hasn't been showing up for classes. And while you're trying to deal with that, your car breaks down. Now you've got to come up with the money you don't have to fix the car. It's just one thing after another. And on top of all of this, the doctor just diagnosed you with a serious illness. Now that's how Elisha's servant felt that morning. He yelled, Alas, my master, what shall we do? He was very worried and afraid, and you would be too, unless you knew what Elisha knew. Now notice how different Elisha's response was. So he answered, do not fear, for those who are with us are more than those who are with them. And Elijah prayed and said, Lord, I pray, open his eyes that he may see. Then the Lord opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw. And behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elijah. Here is the apostle John's version of the same spiritual reality. You are of God, little children. And have overcome them because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. Child of God, when trouble comes, what will you be saying? Oh no, oh no, no, no. What shall I do? Or will you be able to say calmly and confidently, I see trouble everywhere, but I know they are more with me than there are with them. I know greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world. Are you facing trouble today? Be encouraged. Even if you're surrounded by an entire army of trouble, you do not need to worry or be afraid. Why? There will always be more of those who are for you than those who are against you. And the one who dwells in you would always be greater than that which is in the world. The truth is, now listen to this, your troubles are in trouble. Now here's our affirmation for today. I'm of God and have overcome them because he who is in me is greater and who is in the world. Hey, thanks for joining us for today's devotional. I pray that it was a blessing to you. And as you listen, you may have realized that you don't have a relationship with the Lord or you are uncertain about your relationship or you know what? I have a relationship with the Lord, but I just need some prayer and some additional encouragement during this time. Listen, we want to help and we want to be a blessing. So if you would simply click the link below 
We have some resources that we want to make available to you that will help you. God bless you.